Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Remy Roy and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a landing page with MailChimp.com. So I recently published a book and I created a landing page on my website but I didn't use MailChimp. I didn't use MailChimp and I'm gonna let you know why I didn't do that but MailChimp is definitely one of the tools you can use out there to create a very professional landing page okay so i'm gonna go ahead and create a landing page using my information that i used for my book and um to get started all you have to do is just go to mailchimp.com sign in and when you sign in you should see a dashboard that looks something like this so go to create what you want to do is go to the top um left corner right here click create and then look for landing page right here so click on landing page it will ask you to name the landing page and to choose an audience so if you're using mailchimp obviously you already have set up a different list for you know the people who have signed up for something in the past and you can use that to connect with them again okay so i'm going to name this landing page this is me because that's the title of my book I'm going to select an audience and I will just choose newsletter and begin. Okay, so it's going to give us options to create uh, uh, the landing page using templates. So depending on what you're doing, you will choose the, the template option that works best for you. I love color, I love images, I love bold images. So I'm going to go with this option, which is lead generation. Now this may not be the best option for you, like I said, you have to choose what works for you and then customize to meet your needs. So I'm going to click on this and then we're going to go ahead and look at what, it, uh, see what it looks like on the inside and then begin to customize and make changes. Okay. All right. So this is what the landing page looks like. And if you want to see the whole thing before you start on the top right corner here, click preview. And you will see what the whole thing it, it kind of looks like a mini website and i like that i like that it provides information to whoever is visiting your landing page so they know more about your product your service so they can decide to sign up sometimes you just have a landing page that just has one image one line of text and um, sign up here i think people need to warm up to you <laughs> they need to understand what your product is about you know so giving them a little more information is always helpful okay so we're going to click out of that and then we'll start customizing this landing page to look the way we want it to so i'm going to go ahead and show you my the landing page that i created for my book which uh, is like a part of my website so i'm going to be using some of the texts on here okay so first of all um this is the logo so you can change whatever image you have on here to be your own logo so i'm gonna when you click on this box right here and then you look on the right you see the option to replace so click on replace i already have my logo on here okay so here's the logo i'm gonna click on here when you click the image that you want and then click insert so when i insert it the logo is right there if it's too big you're going to go to the right here, image display size, and scrub down to reduce the size of the logo and just make it look however you want it to look. So I think this is good enough for me. So I'm going to leave it at 10%, save and close. So that's the logo up there. So obviously, I need another image in the background because I don't want the image of the plant right there. So that's a huge image. So I'm going to go ahead and look for another image to put on there. Okay, so you can change that image in the background. In order to do that, this is where you find the button to change the image right here. So there's color, fill, clear, all of that. So I'm going to click on image and then it will bring up the dialog box. So I'm going to choose an image. So I've already uploaded an image here. If you don't have one, go ahead and click upload, upload the image and then you can insert it. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click insert and it will put the image right there for me. Okay. So this is just the demonstration. Um, 
just to make it easy for you to kind of understand where I'm going with this, if I were to um, be, sit, be sitting down creating this um, landing page, I might make the colors work better. <laughs> but this is a great image that I found to use right now. Okay, so I have the logo. I have the background image. And now I need to edit the text. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this. So when you click on the text, it's going to open up right here for you. So I'm going to put in this is me a journal for creative reflection. That's the title of my book. So I'm going to have to bump up the size of this. I'm going to make it bold. Mm -hmm. And increase the size a little. So let me take it to 45. Less than that, 42. Okay, I think that works for me. Yeah, I think that works for me. 42 works for me. Now, I feel like this might need a little space. Okay, so that looks good. So that's the text. And right here, I can change the text here to say something else. So let's just say I'm giving away a free chapter of the book. I can say, connect with me. get it, the first and get the first chapter free something like that just to give you an idea of you know what you might want to do here okay all right and this would be the email at where um, the visitors to your website to your landing page will put the email address and um, the marketing permissions and all that. So let's just save and close and do a preview and see what that looks like. This is me, a journal for creative reflection. And if you feel like the the color, you know, of the text is too light, you know, on that um, background, I can always change the text color. I click in here and choose Okay, I can use a deep red right there for contrast. Okay, that works. And then for this, so this is me. I can choose um, a similar red. No, I don't want to do that. I can just color to the same red that I use here. So save and close. And then it looks kind of like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and scroll down and see what other changes we can make. So I'm not going to use this line right here because it doesn't um, work for what I'm going for so I'm going to go ahead and delete those blocks okay so I do have um, some testimonials for my book so I'm going to edit this text here and I will put praise for this is I cannot type today praise for this is me Okay, so these are the testimonials. So I'm just going to click, click in here and edit the text. So I'll take some text from here. I only have one testimonial on the page because I didn't want it to be too much. But I will copy something here. And I'm going to put it right here. Okay, so this is the first testimonial. And let's just say her name is Kendra. And then I'm going to go ahead and replace this image with the image of the people if they have given me permission to use their image. So I don't have the image here, so I'm going to go ahead and upload 
and go to my desktop. I'm going to choose this one. Upload that. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose the second one too, so because I'm going to use two different images for the testimonials. Okay. Now that I have put images, I'm going to go ahead and click to insert that picture. If I want to edit it, because I think I, I want to bring, you know, make it a little more close up than that. So I'll click right here to edit that picture. It'll open the image editor for me. Your image exceeds the maximum size of the mirror. Okay, thank you. And then I'm going to go ahead and click square to bring it in a little. Yeah, so we see her face clearer. And that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the second testimonial. I'm just going to go ahead and put the same text, but of course you would use <laughs> the correct text in your case. So here I'm going to replace this image with this one, the second testimonial, and that looks good. But I want it to be the same size as this one. So this is square, and I want this to be perfectly square too, so I'm going to go ahead and edit and it'll open it for me and I'll click on square so that it's the same size as the first image and then I'll go ahead and save it and voila so this are both the same size okay so those are the testimonials now here I want to say something about my book so I'm gonna go ahead and go to my page and see what I can say so I'm going to put this text right here. Oh, okay. Here is where you edit it on the right. So I'm going to edit this text on the right. I think I would want to put, hi, my name is Remy Roy as the title. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to put three upstairs right there. And I want to add more text, so I'm just going to um, copy something else. So I'm going to copy that text and add it to this. Okay. This text doesn't really um, flow, but just to give you an idea of how to how it's gonna look. So this is some information about the book. Okay, now there are two, and if I didn't want any part of this, I would just you know take it them out. But I want to use this part also, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. So let's edit this text. Sage advice. What would I want to put there? I can put. Um, this text right here and here I will put get on stock because that's one of the important things about the book and then for the second one I will put live on her purse and I will change this text right here Okay, so, and I will change these images too. So I click on that to replace it, and I can use one of this, I love this image from my book launch. So I can use that. And this image isn't square, so I'm going to click on here to edit it and make it square. I think the square images just look better overall. So we're going to save that and good, that looks great. Okay, and we're going to click on this to edit the image and use another image and click on replace. And I'm going to find another image right here. Let us use this one. I'm going to do the same thing to edit the image to make it square. 
So everything just looks put together. Save it. And there we go. Okay. So we've gone far now, so we can click on preview to kind of see what our page looks like. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so far we have all of that. So what we need to do now is um, edit this, the footer. Now, before we do that, I always like to have dividers on the page because there's a lot of white space. And that's one of the drawbacks that I see with MailChimp because they work in such a way that you have to put content in boxes, you know, like in content blocks, and it's not very flexible. Like if, if you wanted to do something different, um, it's difficult because of those confinements. So that's one of the drawbacks that I have with um, MailChimp, but it's still a useful tool if you know you already have MailChimp and just to use that for a landing page. So I want to add a dividers somewhere here. So I'm going to save and close this. And this is where you have the blocks of content. So this is a divider. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag it in here. Okay. And I'm going to put it up right here. Okay, that's a divider. There's a lot of space here. But okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the divider up there. And I think I want to put another divider below that. So I'm going to duplicate this divider. Oh, I ended up duplicating the content block, so I'm going to delete that. What I want to duplicate is the divider, this block right here. This one is what I want to duplicate. So I click on that and then I drag it down so that it looks something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and save and close and preview to see what that looks like. All right, so I like the divider, but I think it might be too close to the text. Mm, I think it's good. Okay, so that's what we have there. All right. So like I said, MailChimp does have some drawbacks, but, um, you know, for the most part, it works. So this part, I'm going to change this background image. I'm going to use something that's more personal to me. So I'm going to click on, just like we did the other time, scroll down, look for that image button, click that. And then you can add an image. Okay, so I have an image here that I already used. So I'm going to click on that and insert it. And it's right there. And I'm going to edit this text. So I kind of like it. I can use that scroll together because I want people to, well, I'll change that. I'll change that text. I'm going to edit it to something else because I want people to buy the book. I'll just say buy now. Yeah, simple, short and sweet. Okay, now the subscribe button, I'm gonna change that to I want a copy. Yeah, that sounds kind of lame. Think about that and you know, just put in whatever it is that you want in there. Buy now. And then you can put um, the web address. Okay, so in my case, I will put the Amazon link to my book. I'll put it right there so that when you click it, it'll take you to the Amazon link to buy the book. Okay, so that's the change I would make to customize this template for myself. So we're going to go ahead and go to preview. Now, sometimes when you create it, it looks good on desktop, but when you go to mobile, it looks weird and then you might have to fix something. So I think the desktop version looks okay. It looks okay. Mm -hmm. And there's the mobile version. So let's see what that looks like. So that's the logo, the text. This is me seems to be smaller than the, the subtext. So that um, might need to be fixed. Yeah, this looks good. This looks good. This looks good. All right, so everything in the mobile 
looks good except the text on there so you will just make that um, change and you should be good to go and there you have it this is a sample of a landing page that you could use for anything that you're doing just customize it to your business your idea your launch whatever it is your online course whatever it is that you might be working on so when you're done with that just click save and close and it will take you to the page where you get to publish your landing page okay so you can here you can customize the url i like this url the way it is you can edit the audience if you wanted to change the audience or send it to a different group and then when you're done with that you click publish So your landing page is now live on the web. So we're going to go to the link to see what it looks like. So here's the landing page. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you to begin to sort of think about how to set up a landing page and customize it to meet your needs. If you have any questions or any other videos that you want me to create please leave a comment in the link below and let me know if you're working on any product launches or a business idea or anything that might require a landing page i would love to support you thank you so much for listening for watching please subscribe like and share have a great day bye